State Democrats say they have a plan now to deal with the huge budget deficit without raising taxes, but Governor Malloy says their plan will not fly. State Democrats presented that plan to the governor today. We're glad you're with us, everybody. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Ann Nyberg. Now begins the second round of the budget battle. The Democrats are presenting their proposals. News 8's Bob Wilson joins us now live from Hartford with tonight's top story. Bob. Yeah, we've been at the Capitol, and you've seen over the last couple of weeks the layoffs trickling out, Republicans putting their budget forward, meeting with the governor over it, and now it's the Democrats' turn to put it forward. And the governor said, you know what, there's still more work to be done. This is a very Spartan budget. If you look at the bottom line of it, we are now back to spending levels that are the equivalent of what we spent in fiscal year 2012. Today, the Democrats put forward their plan that will plug the nearly $1 billion hole in the state budget in 2017, and they say they did it without any tax increases or fees. It is done with a lot of, uh, a lot of cuts, a lot of consolidations, a lot of administrative uh, realignments, savings, wherever we can, uh, can possibly find it. In all that consolidation and realignment, there may have to be more layoffs, says Senator Looney, unless the unions come forward with concessions. Meanwhile, the Republican leadership says it's the same old budget dressed up in different clothes. It costs businesses more money. It takes it out on the elderly, takes it out on the poor, cuts social services. It plays gimmicks, it plays games. It's the same budget that got the state in trouble year after year. They haven't changed. This is the wrong direction. So while the Democrats are rolling out their budget now, the Republicans say they've had their budget out for a while. They've been meeting with the governor, talking with him, and they say they're already at least moving forward with a governor who has vowed not to sign this budget. The criticism that the governor had of our budget was nominal at best. He said, look, there are a lot of good things in there, some things we don't like, let's talk, and we're talking. The criticism on their budget was that it was unrealistic, it's the same stuff he sees every year, he's not impressed by it, it needs to change. So just by the governor, who is a member of their party, he likes our budget a hell of a lot more than he likes his budget. And the governor saying, roll up the sleeves, get out the midnight oil, this could go past the session, they may have to extend it. I'm Bob Walsh reporting live at the Capitol, News 8.